What company's getting it wrong today? Saddens me to say it, but it's Sears. Now, they've been getting it wrong for a good long while. It's a shame, too. You know, I really did almost grow up in a Sears store. My dad worked for Sears for 47 years. He found my mom in the catalog department. They got married, and here I am. And I was in the Sears store almost every day after school and on weekends. There was a time in our country when Sears was the largest retailer. It also used to have the largest building in the world. They had those iconic brands of Craftsman and Kenmore, which are still around, but there aren't as many Sears stores around these days. And I think it's because they forgot who they really were. They forgot their customers. They started to sell out their satisfaction guaranteed or your money back philosophy to try to compete with the lower end brands. I see way too many businesses doing the very same thing. They're trying to sell out and compromise what brought them to the party so they can compete price-wise at a lower level. Instead of adding value and remembering what your customers originally came to you for. Don't do that in your company. Listen, while we're talking about what makes a company at work and what makes a company fail, I want to invite you to the Five Friends Business Summit in November in Las Vegas. You can talk to all of the five friends and we'll be addressing questions just like this about how you can make your company better so it'll be around and successful for a good long while. We all hope to see you there. Hey everybody, I want to talk about a company that's getting it wrong. Now they're trying to make a comeback. We'll see how they do. But for about three years, um, their foundation was crumbling out from under them. It's the youth market targeted clothing retailer, Abercrombie and Fitch. Here's the deal. They thought they owned their market and they did for a while. Uh, they thought that their customers would spend more money with them than anybody else, and they did. They thought their customers absolutely loved them, which they did until they didn't. And the very simple but very profound lesson for all of us that Abercrombie and Fitch teaches is never assume that you own your market. I don't care whether you are in retail, whether you are a solo professional practitioner or in business to business. Don't wait until you have to reinvent to reinvent. Stay ahead of the market. It's the only way you can survive, much less excel. Have a great day. Hey, it's Randy Pennington. And one company that's getting it wrong with me is Time Warner Cable, at least in the market where I live. You see, Time Warner started airing a series of commercials about how they changed and if they can change, you can too. It's a catchy idea except they haven't really changed with a level of consistency that supports their statements. Yes, parts of their service have shown some improvement, but my business has been without internet service at least four times since those commercials started airing. So here's the lesson. Don't market what you can't deliver. Remember, Noah built the ark before he prayed for rain. I'll see you next time. What is a company that is getting it wrong today? VW got it wrong by systematic cheating, or what one psychologist now calls creating a culture of deviancy. People cheated at work because the culture allowed it and evidently condoned it. In September of 2015, U.S. regulators said the company's diesel cars were emitting more pollutants than the manufacturer claimed. That's because VW had installed a device that could deceive emissions tests in some 11 million cars worldwide. VW had just passed Toyota as the world's largest automaker, but after the scandal, it fell back to number two. While the auto industry was posting record sales, VW's U.S. sales fell by 11%, and potential penalties and fines are estimated to be $19 billion. I've always defined integrity as the distance between your lips and your life. It starts with leadership, but it doesn't end there. So what's an example of a company doing it wrong? <laughs> Unfortunately, there is so many to choose from. And if your company is doing it wrong, you're going to be able to get help at the Five Friends Business Summit coming up in November here in Las Vegas, beautiful Las Vegas where I am tonight. Uh, but the one that I hear from, from the people in my audience the most, the one I get the most tweets about, the one I get the most contact about, is Comcast. It just seems like Comcast goes out of their way to upset customers. I had a fraudulent charge on a Comcast bill over 10 years ago. 
and I got a phone call on it two days ago. Now, the senior vice president of Comcast wrote me and said it had all been taken care of, everything had been released. I get a call literally over a decade later wondering where the money is. I, it, it, it's mind boggling to me, the links that Comcast goes. So here's an idea, care for, listen to your customer.